if I asked you to picture what the town guard looked like in your D&D world, I am pretty sure all of us are picturing the exact same thing. It's some Western European looking dude with a helmet, kind of a dopey voice, holding a spear. Okay, sure. Yeah, we can all visualize the stereotypical boring guard. Some human male in his late prime wearing full plate and wielding either a spear or crossbow. But let's be clear, you asked us to. These features denote uninteresting information that we generalize and gloss over because it's not important most of the time. Making an ignorable NPC is not difficult, but the type of information you make and how you present it is something else entirely. Human male, generally this is common, but depending upon the setting, situation, and overall world, this could have some meaning with how race and gender roles define who and where you are in society. The fact that they have advanced armor and weaponry, for medieval times, should inform the players that the civilization they work for is relatively wealthy, but their forces are not necessarily well trained. Spears and crossbows grant a certain level of lethality without having to give advanced training to troops, because they're not that difficult to learn, and grant the general advantage of range over most other combatants that they have to close the distance. There is so much information that you can give to players with every facet of the world, and that starts with the nameless NPCs such as tavern keeps and gate guards that become the face and voice of the town. When players approach a sentiment, they should understand what they're getting into simply by seeing how well it's fortified and the type of people defending it. Are they civilized, well-armored, diplomatic, or cordial? This is the first taste that you're giving to the players, and that will determine their entire mood for the rest of the town. There are various options you can choose to make an NPC, even the town guard, interesting and noteworthy. Perhaps they are a group of sellswords from another land, or just a gathered militia of farmers that need to take a stand. Perhaps they are the proud warriors of the village, or profaned criminals that have been given jobs as a second chance by the law enforcement, or are forced to work off their sentences as cannon fodder. There is no shortage of expansive ideas to add flavor and depth to your world and scenarios. For more ideas and concepts such as this one, using zombies as the town guard, which is similar to something I'm actually using in a campaign, please check out the Church of Doom's channel for creative commentary and intriguing concepts.